All right, I thought I'd make a video for uh, prospective software engineers or anyone trying to look into navigating that field. You see, I keep hearing about a lot of highly qualified people not finding positions that they're happy with, uh, a lot of highly qualified people being cut at like the fourth out of like five or six phases of an interview uh, after like applying for like 10 or 20 jobs and they're kind of getting burned out. And I thought I'd make a video with my thoughts about this. So, um, you know, the opportunities aren't necessarily as much as there was like five, 10 years ago, at least from what we see, you know, everyone checks the same job listing sites and all that stuff. Um, everyone kind of looks in the same places for these kinds of things, but you kind of have to, it's getting to the point where you're going to have to go outside the box, right? You're going to have to go out there and meet people, um, outside of the whole job listing sphere and all that stuff or job career, anything like that. Just go out to social things and meet people. And, you know, you can get lucky and meet business owners uh, or people kind of in that sphere. You know, they're, they're not everywhere, but, you know, you might just be talking to someone and figure out, oh, they own such and such or, or you know, um, and they might need some work done. See, these smaller companies and whatnot, they might not exactly know, or businesses, they might not know, like, what to ask for. They might want to post something like asking for somebody to work on something, but they might not know how to go about it. Um, and obviously software is very expensive and it's very intimidating. Um, but if you're out there in a social thing and, you know, you're, you're just talking, you, you know, you can kind of skip a few things, you know what I mean? Because you get to know them, they get to know you and they get to know what you know. Uh, and you could tell them like what's possible and all that stuff. Um, and you could find an opportunity that no one else is going to get. Um, see, I got kind of lucky at the end of college and I got lined up with a company that needed an app built. Um, and the skills you learn in something like that versus a normal tech job is, is a lot different. So, you know, in my opinion, one of the most important parts about the, uh, tech interviews and software engineers, software interviews is the behavioral part of the interview, the social stuff. You could be taught how to program, you know, anyone could be trained how to solve the problems that they need, but you can't be trained how to be a human, right? But if you have a position where you have to communicate a lot, um, maybe they're not quite as technical. Maybe for someone young like me, they're doing things kind of old school. And, you know, we put a lot into the technical knowledge and the computer knowledge and science knowledge. And some of what we know, we might not realize is like as technical as it is. And there might be a bit of a translation, a communication barrier where you have to translate some of what you know so that they understand what you're doing. And when the client asks you for things, you have to be able to tell them like, what is possible and what is not, um, given what you're doing without talking too much about necessarily the technical stuff, but telling them what is possible and what you're going to be able to do for them. Um, and this adds a whole nother thing and recommendations and all that stuff that give you a boost. 